Today on Mo's Toy Room, we're going to unbox from Funko. Here goes five different Funko Pops from Star Wars. It's Boba Fett, Cobb Vance, and Darth Vader. And it's coming up next. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Mo's Toy Room. Come from my room to yours. And today we're going to check out a whole lot of Funko Pops from Funko. Yeah, it's a Star Wars edition. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, feel free to subscribe to this channel as soon as you can. So that way you can get some of the latest videos the moment that they are put up. And please, folks, enjoy the video. First off, we're going to kick it off with Darth Vader, a Target exclusive. This is kind of a throwback to the way he looked in the comic book, I believe. You can see the Target sign right there. Target exclusive pop written all over it. Star Wars number 456. This is Darth Vader. We're going to check out the side of that box. Looks real good. What I'm going to do is go through the boxes first. and I'm going to take them all out at the same time. We're going to check these guys out because there's not much articulation. You can see that's the comic that they have him from. He would be the background right there. And they made it look identical to that. Funko is doing some good work. You know, so at least what I like about Funko, at least every time you go to the store, there's always something new from Funko. And that's what I love about them. Uh, that's, that's great. So they're always giving us new material. Um, and I'll take it all day long. Uh, and I do love the Star Wars part of Funko. I love the horror part of Funko. And I'll do some little odds and end things that are in there as well. And plus when I do toy hunts, I will check out Funko. All right, folks. So we're going to move on right here. You could see Cobb Vanth right here kicking back behind his window pane locked in this plastic prison as all these Funko Pops are here. And they have finally made it here to Moe's Toy Room. Cobb Vanth is now part of our team here at Moe's Toy Room. You can see him right there. It looks dead on to a Boba Fett action figure. Even the little guy right here off to the side even looks just like the Boba Fett. Like they just, let's grab the Boba Fett and you be the judge. Take a look at that. You know, like it's really weird. It just looks really, just really weird. Even the figure. We're going to check out the two because I don't want to mix them up, right? <laughs> All right, so you can see it right there. Let's turn to the side. You can see more side box right there. Turn it all the way around. That's how he looks. Number 484 right there. You can see that. And then right to the side. There it is. Cobb Vamp right there. The imposter Boba Fett, which is, yeah, he's, he's a hero now in the Boba Fett series. So we're going to unbox him. And then we're going to go to Boba Fett right here. This box is a little bit darker. But you can see Boba right there, the all-time favorite. He is my favorite in Star Wars. I'm not so sure about the actor that they got to play him in the actual series. But Boba Fett is a clone of Jango Fett. So there you go. Why not get Jango Fett to play Boba Fett? Sounds a little odd. If only Jango Fett had slightly better acting skills and was a little bit more, how do you say, appealing on screen. Okay, I'll just leave it at that. But he is number 480 right there. You can see Boba Fett kicking back behind his window pane as his bounty hunter sign side will do some damage here at Moe's Toy Room and now be a part of my Star Wars side. He will be going to the Star Wars wing. All these will uh, in my house here uh, at Moe's Toy Room. You can see the back right there. They also have Finnick Shane right there. You can see it. She's also available. I should have grabbed a couple of her and threw her in here. And they also have a nice box set that's really cool. And it has Boba and Finnick together, which is really nice. And I see it everywhere. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that someday. And then the day I go to get it, something new pops up. Because, you know, Funko, they're always throwing stuff out a lot. But then on the other hand, here at Moe's Tour, we review a whole lot of toys. So um, I got to make this channel appealing to everyone who watches it so yeah i try to give you guys a little of everything so you can see boba right there here we have boba fett unmasked walmart exclusive boba fett this is nice and it caught my eye like fast and you can see it in my toy hunt when i scored a lot of these the last toy hunt i did 
um, when I scored a lot of these, this guy caught my eye right away. It was very hard to miss, especially with the Walmart exclusive sign right there. Boba Fett, and then he's unmasked. Yeah, let's turn it to the side. You can see how he looks there. Really, really nice. This bounty, bounty hunter is very appealing without a mask. It's, it's nice. I like it all the way around. I really absolutely love this. It would be cool if they made one to where you could actually take the mask off. That would be pretty cool. Funko, there you go. It would be different. Pretty cool. You just won't have one solid big old head right there. You could actually remove the mask. That would be cool. You know, so you got that right there. All right, folks, here it is. I seen this and I almost melted. Target Con Red Metallic Boba Fett all day long. This is a beauty. Oh yeah, number 462. And check out the check out the fronts of these. Are they just about the same? Very weird, other than the numbers. Okay, so I put it on there. Oh yeah, I forgot to say this Boba Fett with 480. Um, and then when you look to the side, look at that. Even the sides, yeah, it's like they like as if they use the same, the same picture. <laughs> All right, but anyway, here you have the metallic Boba Fett. This is just nice. And you know what? Let me just get into this. Here we have metallic Boba Fett kicking back behind his window pane, locked in his plastic prison because you have made it here to Toy Mo's toy room. Yes. <laughs> How to say it all right very nice all the way around there he is on the back again with finnick um yeah th same same stuff even on the backs i believe even on the backs are the same look at that really weird just real weird but the figures total different you know a boba fett you got to have the variants all right folks let's take these guys out of the package and we're going to be right back all right, folks, so we are back, and you can see these pops right here in their glory as to how they look. Let me get through this real quick and tell you that they all bring little inserts with them. The red metallic Boba Fett tended to bring this insert in the back, which is the same insert as the Boba Fett that it brung. And the Darth Vader brung something a little bit different here his insert looked a lot like this you could see it to the side and then the the boba fett unmasked and the Cobb vanth both brung the same inserts so there you have it with that here you can see them right here, the way that they look. Um, yeah, these little guys are nice. They're a little, little bit some bobbleheads. So that's really cool. All right, so let's take a look. We're going to do Cobb Vanth first. First, <laughs> pardon me. Okay, we'll do Cobb Vanth first. Yeah, that's hard to say, right? Cobb Vanth? Cobb Vanth first. Say that. <laughs> All right. All right. So actually, let's do these two first. We'll do Boba Fett Unmasked with Cobb Vanth. You can see them right there. The way that they look, this, see if I can get a little bit closer, how they look. This is really, really cool. Okay. Off to the side. And then we'll take a look at the Cobb Vanth uh, Boba Fett side by side after. For that way, if you have any questions, maybe that could answer for you. Um, but yeah, they're on a base. I like the way these look. These are really cool. This is going to be somewhat of a quick review. I like this. The paint schemes, uh, just the sculpting. Everything is just nice. They nailed. Look at that. He even has all the creases and stuff from uh, when he woke up outside of that Sarlacc pit. They really did it all up in there. You have the Star Wars logos on both. Both of these guys are decked out. Um, yeah, it's nice. All right, folks. So let's move on right here. You can see them. All right. So let's take a look at the comic book Vader. This is cool. 
I mean, really, really, just insanely. Like it's it's weird in its own way, and then you can see it. Yeah, it kind of looks like a comic book. <laughs> it does. You know, without all the writing, you, let's say you put all that writing all over it, and then with like the dollar twenty-five or whatever in the corner. <laughs> Maybe in my day, back when I was collecting comics, like 10 cents or whatever. All right, let's take a look at Vader to the side. This is really cool. I had to have it when I seen it. There's a lot of other fun co-pops that are out there that I really, really like. Um, I'll probably have to get back into buying a few more of these and bringing them to the channel. Let me know in the comments if you want to see... If you're a Funko fan and if you want to see me review more Funko or on my toy hunts take more time in the Funko area, just let me know, you know, in the comments. Okay. And then we have Boba Fett. Let's do Boba and the metallic one together. You can see them side by side, how they look. Yeah, these are different poses. Yeah, it's really, really just odd, different poses. Boba has his gun up in the air over here, has an open hand like he's ready to, like, just like he's ready to throw down. And then you have him holding his uh, sawed-off blaster, and then you have him with the gun in this hand. Um, yeah, all the way. These are, these are cool. Different sculpts. Really cool. Look at the side of that right there. And then check out the jetpacks on the back. Yeah. Could you imagine if they made like a like kind of like a missile firing one? I don't know how they would do that, but it would be pretty insane, right? <laughs> you know, everybody's all oh, yeah, missile firing Boba Fett, missile firing Boba Fett. It's an action figure, folks. <laughs> all right, there you have the side. I always tell people, they say, hey, what do you think I'm? What do you think that there is to collect? And uh, what do you think is going to be worth money and everything else? I tell people all the time. If you're going to get into collecting, buy what you like. And it doesn't matter what it's worth because you'll always be happy. Don't try to keep up with the Joneses uh, because you'll never be happy. You'll just find yourself blowing a whole lot of cash. Buy what you like and be happy what you're doing. All right. So let's take a look at Boba Fett next to Cobb Vant. There's the two. Obviously, same helmet. This one looks a whole lot more battle damaged on the top. You know? Because, you know, he had Boba's attire and then Boba had it re redone, right? He had it. You can even see it in the greens. Okay? And then in the side, you can see, yeah. Yeah, you could tell them apart. Even through the boots. Okay? And if you're wondering on the very bottoms... There you have it. That's what it would say on the bottom. Let me see if I could turn these guys around for you could see the bottoms. Okay, that's what they would have. All right. All right, folks. So that's that's my review for Boba Fett, Darth Vader, Cobb Vanth. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed bringing it to you very much. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. So that way you know when the next video like this one hits. You can also follow us on Instagram at Most Toys. That's M-O-E-S-T-O-Y-S. Most Toys on Instagram. We're also on TikTok. Check us out there on TikTok. Uh, Most Toy Room. And right here on YouTube, we are Most Toy Room. So from Most Toy Room to yours, good night, everyone.